Hello, hello. How you doing, Mitchell? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Getting That MD. I'm doing okay, Zach. How are you doing? Alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't been back in, uh, I think, a month. We were traveling, and Zach was busy working. So, But we're back now, so what are we going to talk about today? Uh, we're going to learn how to re remember random words in order, because why not? People like to do random things like this, so let's do it. <laughs> okay. So the steps also goes with memory and anything, really. You have to associate something with something you already know. This is how memory kind of works. This is why rereading something does not work when you're trying to do it for school. So. In this case, we'll be using something called a sun list. I also call like, call like a peg list as well. Um, you know Jim Quick, right? I do, yes. Yeah, this is something he teaches in some of his, like, if you watch some of his videos and podcast he teaches something like this now as you guys know on youtube if you're not familiar with jim quick he's a memory expert who trains a lot of uh people to memorize everything such as like actors actresses memory other memory coaches he trains so something he sticks by so i decided i might well teach it if you guys never <laughs> learned it before so here's a sun list though so one is sun here's one sun makes sense right uh, two is socks. You have two feet, so you put two socks on. Three is traffic light. It's three things on the traffic light, obviously. Four is car. I mean, for four, you really pick anything you want. I just use car because four wheels makes sense to me. And if you try to like, pitch them all together, so you're, you're to the sun, you're putting socks on the sun, or the traffic light, you're in your car at the traffic light, you're putting gloves on. There might be a six pack of beer on top of the traffic light, and there's a rainbow, and there's an octopus somewhere. So you're trying to associate, you can try to associate them all together. It kind of helps you remember like pictures of stuff and kind of makes it stick better. And you'll see in our example, we'll be learning later on. So sun is one, two is socks, three is traffic light, four is car, five is glove, six is six pack of beer or six pack of pop, whatever you want to say, seven is rainbow and eight is octopus. And then 9 and 10, so 9 is cats, so and they have 9 lives, and 10 is toes. You remember all those yet? Got them all memorized? Um, okay. I think so. I think I have them. Okay. So what was the sun list? Do you remember? So, one sun. Oh my god, I forget two. Three is traffic light. Um... Five is glove, six is the pack of beer, seven is the rainbow, eight is the octopus, nine is the cat, ten is the those. But you got them all right, other than the ones you forgot. So two is socks and four is car. Car. Yeah, I would have. Yeah, that was that was a blank. Yeah. So I think the reason why you forgot those ones is because you didn't really associate with them with anything. So you like. I made a little story about the traffic light in the car, and you probably remember the traffic light, but not the car. And then I said six-pack of beer or six-pack of something else, and you are like, oh, yeah, beer. I like beer. I'll put that up there. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of already associating those with something you already knew, which is memory technique in general. Mm -hmm. So. But let's get into the next thing. So this is a random word to test out the technique with. So one is a newspaper. So you go back to with these words, you want to associate them with a sun list. So what was one again? The sun. The thing about a sun coming in and you're reading the newspaper and it's burning that newspaper up. Okay? Got that picture? Yeah. So then what was two? It was socks. So okay, you're sitting there reading your newspaper, you're like, I'm gonna put some socks on. And you're putting your socks on, and the bears came out of nowhere trying to attack you while you're putting your socks on. Got that? Yeah. Three is quarters, so what was three? That was uh, traffic lights. So now you're sitting there running away from this bear that's trying to get you look up in the sky, see the sun, but I see a traffic light and there's quarters on top of the traffic light. What's four? It was cars. Yeah, so 
you run around, you see the bear. Now the bear's searching the car. You see how these are kind of going together? Yeah. Okay. What was five? It was a glove. A glove. Oh. Now, inside of this car, there's this, I guess, a judge, and he has this big gavel, and he's like smashing cars with a gavel. So, uh, five is kind of weird to do. It was a six pack of beer. So, five, five, five yeah, was, five was yeah. no, six, six was the, the six, pack, uh, of six beer. pack of beer. So now you are, where are we at? We're a guy smashing cars with the gavel with the glove one. And now you have a six pack of beer. He's chugging this and this is kind of like a speeding beer. You know, like the flash. Mm-hmm. So you're speeding around in circles from drinking this beer. <clears throat> so speedster. And then seven. Seven, it was rainbow. So now you're seeing this pretty rainbow going over this random jury that's in the middle of the road for some reason. They're just sitting there waiting for the trial, I guess. That's going to happen in, in the road under the traffic light with all this other stuff going on. Eight. Eight was octopus. So now you have this octopus that is behind this jury in this rainbow. And it's trying to eat a chicken. I don't know why it's trying to eat a chicken, but it's trying to eat this giant chicken because it's a giant octopus, obviously. Nine? Nine is a cat. 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 So... For nine, there's a cat, and they're cat people. So this thing of like people that look like cats walking around. This crazy scene we have with this octopus eating a chicken, there's a jerry, there's a rainbow, there's a speedster. Okay. Mm-hmm. Almost ten. Ten is toes. And then you have power toes. So you have you see these people lifting like massive weights so with just their toes. So now sit now. I'm going to have Mitchell go to the next slide because there's no next slide, and I'm having him read say these to me. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so newspaper, bear. So, Search, so, orders, gavel. Do you want me to tell you the story? Uh, You don't have to. I mean, you can just think of the story to remember the, remember the things. So, search, search, gavel. Chicken. Full power. I think I forgot to. Yeah, you did, but you know what these uh, words rec- represent by any, by any chance? What do they represent? These are the bill rights. Mm-hmm. So the newspaper represents freedom of speech. Two is the right to bear arms, so bear. Three yeah, is the. Not in my head. That's off. That's funny. Yeah. So okay. three is the courting of soldiers. Four is the freedom from unreasonable search and seizure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Five is the right to due process, which is kind of hard for to make something for that because I just did a gavel for that. Six is the right of the accused or to a speedy trial, so the speeds to run around from drinking this beer. Seven is a right by trial by jury. Eight is uh, right from uh, there's no cruel and unusual punishment. Should I put chicken? Because like the tar and feather and stuff like that. Let me think of a chicken. Nine is other rights of the people, which is people. And ten is powers reserved by the states. So right now we just learned the ten bill of rights in what? Maybe ten minutes? Less. Way less. So like... This is how you can apply this to like stuff in school where you have to apply stuff in order. So you just think like this thing of it, make a story and try to connect all the words together for like stuff like this, since they're all connected. But even if they're just random words, like these are just random words Mitchell had to memorize. He had no idea what they were. Nope. No idea. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you can apply this to like your school and stuff. So I hope you guys learned something new in here. I think Mitchell did, so that's good. <laughs> Always, always learning, bro. Thanks for coming. In. Like, comment, hey, subscribe thanks below. Thanks so for coming, guys. Uh, check out the next videos. Peace. See you guys next time.